Traders from around the world, what's going on? It's Ricky Cadden back again with another free real life stock review with Real Life Trading Australia. It's Tuesday. We're going to look into the markets and see what happened last night. It was absolutely amazing. Just want to shout out to the Real Life Trading team. If you guys aren't in the community, you guys are totally missing out. Last night in the day trading floor, there was so many R's and I want to give a big shout out to Arabia who absolutely crushed five R's on the E-mini S&Ps. Well done. And a lot of people making some huge gains on Roku. But before we get into all that, let's take a look at the markets, guys. SPY, what happened last night? As you can see, uh, we did have a white candle gapping up, which is a retest gap. If we just take a look at the five minute, um, it was a very, very, very short retest. So as you can see here, if I just zoom in, all right, we have our perfect setup, this five minute high wave bullish candle. We broke above the highs. Here's your, your, your entry it would have been above here with a stop below here. And that's, the trade right there. There's the trade that would have made you at least four or five hours just uh, just today. So um, huge, huge, amazing move. We only did get one retest. We had a small little consolidation here, but nothing really to, to get excited about. But realistically, there was the break above the five minute candle retest and then straight to the moon. We kind of just chop sideways for the rest of the day. So for everyone who did catch that, that move on the SPY or the E-minis, well done to you guys. Now, obviously, this being a retest gap, uh, we did come straight up into this resistance up here at 299.18. Now, I do expect this gap to fill, guys. Um, and if I was to take one look at this to think what could potentially happen, um, I do think we are going higher. Um, tomorrow, I do think we do have an inside day candle and then we'd most likely trade higher. Uh, we could potentially roll down and close this gap straight away. However, if we don't, uh, I would expect something of this juncture right here. I'll just copy this so you can see here. I'll just put this side by side uh, right here. Okay, that's what I would expect to happen, I would, I would expect us to come up, create some new highs, come up to my, you know, oops, oh bugger, come up to my uh, my target here at 305 and then come back down straight to the 100 and then probably look to bounce and then slowly, slowly grind higher. I'm not bearish on the markets at all, guys. I know we are getting some pullbacks, but these literally are just dip buying opportunities. So if you are looking to get in, there has been so many opportunities to just buy a couple of shares and hold them for a couple of weeks. Um, risk, miss, risk mitigation at its finest, obviously, um, but there is some great opportunities here. Obviously, with this bullish move that we did have, uh, probably expect a little bit of selling. This was a 1% move, um, so I'd probably expect a little bit of a gap down and uh, you know maybe a, a little bit of a inside day bearish candle and then we'll probably look to trade higher the following days. I'll take a look at the ES E minis and as you can see we are actually starting to sell off here from from yesterday so I do expect us to come down just a little bit more and then obviously look to buy the dip. Let's take a look at the IWM, the Russell and if you remember in my last review that I did uh, right back here I did say this is a buy the dip opportunity um, we are at 146.80 is a very nice buying location. So if you did buy off this level, uh, you would be quite profitable as we speak. We are at the current um, simple 100 and 200 simple moving averages. And we are on the weekly chart still just chopping in between this nice little distribution phase here. Um, obviously, we will soon break out, um, but just keep your eyes on it, guys. When we're in this level here, you just want to be buying low and selling high. It's the reason why I did um, note note a couple of weeks ago um, about this, this particular buying level. It is a very nice buying location. 
Let's take a look at the Dow Jones on the weekly chart, looking nice and bullish on the daily chart, beautiful retest gap. And once again, guys, straight back to this resistance level right here. And uh, we are probably going to gap down slightly tomorrow. So keep your eyes on that. It's probably only going to be short term, but all in all, still bullish on the markets, guys. Don't be over bearish. Let's take a look at some of the semiconductors breaking out here. AM, uh, AMAT, ticket symbol AMAT, Applied Materials, finally making some new highs um, after after a year of just beautiful, beautiful, uh, a beautiful little trough here. And we did start to come up. I know a few people that are in this trade, super, super happy about this move. Um, obviously, if you are looking to buy the dip and get into this, we have broken out. Just look to buy the dip and probably take it higher. Let's take a look at MU. Now, MU, another one is to look for. I did say, I think it was back here, that we were at the 100 and most likely we will get a double bottom. And funny that, we got the double bottom and we, uh, we had the small little retest and we just had a beautiful, beautiful gap and go. Uh, on the five minute here, just look at this. We just kind of consolidated sideways. Market was pushing higher, pushing higher, pushing higher. We were just coiling here right at the start of the day and just coiling for this bounce. And as soon as we took off, we rocketed, rocketed, rocket and rolled, uh, rocketed right up. And then we did kind of go, we did kind of sell off a bit after hours, but that's okay. Um, obviously, uh, the rest of the market's probably gonna do the same on that one. Uh, let's take a look at Roku, the rocket. Now, Roku, another one, just absolutely crushing higher. I did mention back here, this is a dip buying opportunity. Um, I'm actually surprised to see how Roku has, uh, has risen so quickly, but it would not be the first time. As you can see, once it takes off, it really does start to take off. So Roku, another gap and go, a lot of real life traders, Shout out to the real life trading room. You guys absolutely crushed it in the day trading floor today. And uh, yeah, guys, if you guys aren't, if you guys aren't in the real life trading trading rooms, you guys are missing out on a ton of cash. There is so much money to be made. Um, but Roku, bullish gap and go, looks amazing. And most likely, if you are going to get into this, probably buy on a pullback and then wait for the 100 to come in and look to buy the dip. Let's take a look at Starbucks. Now, personally, I mean, in Australia, I don't really go to Starbucks to get coffee. I'm not actually the biggest fan of their coffee, but in America, I think Starbucks is like the go-to place and they are an amazing company to own long-term. You want to be an owner, not a consumer, guys. And as you can see, we have had a decent pullback um, from the from the all-time highs. We did pull back about fifteen percent. And if I just take this, if I just take this move and come back to the last all-time highs, so that was here last time we pulled back, you know, fifteen or seventeen percent. Then we chopped around sideways for you know probably a few months, six months. Here we had the all-time highs, went about fifteen percent chop sideways and then we slowly slowly went higher again i mean we could look at this all day but uh right now here we came back we 15 percent drop and then chop sideways and then we went higher so if you are looking for a value area if you're looking at a price to you know if you're looking at a price and thinking is this a good time to buy i mean obviously past performance can't um you know, won't determine your, your future results sort of thing. But I mean, we're, we've had a 15% pullback, guys. We are at a very nice location here. We've got the 100 and the 200 simple moving average. Most likely we're just going to accumulate and kind of consolidate at this price for a while. Let the 200 simple moving average come into play. We do have earnings coming right around the corner. There's a lot of, we are coming into earnings season. So it's going to be very, very exciting, guys. You can see last time, I mean, a lot of the times when earnings comes, uh, Starbucks does tend to gap up. I would probably wait until after earnings. If we do get a gap down, um, I'd probably look to fade that gap, meaning just go trade in the opposite direction of the gap and look to take it bullish. Um, and obviously, if we do gap higher, depending on where we gap to, I'd look to take that long. Let's take a look at Apple and speaking of all-time highs, just 
absolutely crushing new all-time highs. Guys, Apple, one of the, I mean, the strongest company in the world. Um, they are super, super bullish. You just want to keep buying these dips. They're a great company to hold long-term, pays dividends, you know, has great options, lots of liquidity, and it's just, does never disappoint, you know, with the iPhone sales, the new iPhone 11, everything's just going for it. They're always having stock buybacks and uh, this company just does always continue to grow. So Apple creating new all time highs. We did have, I'll just zoom in right here. We did have a, a, green, a green candle gapping up and we are obviously, which is a retest gap. So I do expect us to retest close this gap and then most likely trade higher. Let's take a look at Square. Know a lot of people in Square. I'm in Square myself. Um, a lot of people very excited about this move. We finally, finally close above this particular resistance. Only just, um, but we are getting some increasing volume as you can see right here. Um, not a whole lot of volume. It would have been, it would have been better to see some a little bit more bullish volume. We do have earnings coming up in November. Um, so I would like to see a very nice bullish push. We've got the 100 200 simple moving average on the daily chart here in the way. Um, that will be a little bit of a resistance for us in the future. Um, but on the weekly chart, we're almost closing above, uh, closing above the 100, which I did say back on the daily that this, this candle here, I did say this is going to be the bottom here. Um, I'm not... I mean, it's the bottom for now. I don't know if it's going to be the bottom forever, but it definitely was the bottom candle if you wanted to go long. So if you did take that analysis to go long on that day, there was a beautiful volume. Um, you'd be up very, very nicely on SQ. So well done to you all for that. Let's take a look at Tesla. Now, Tesla, we have earnings just around the corner. This is going to be very, very exciting. I did say back here, that this is another dip buying opportunity. Um, if you did take that analysis to go long, uh, you'd be super, super happy about this bullish move. We are currently at the 200 simple moving average on the daily chart and on the weekly chart, we're kind of just chopping a little bit, but we are forming this beautiful little uh, ascending wedge here, as you can see right here. So once we break out, we will have a little bit of resistance here at 273.83. Um, depending on where we gap to, um, if we do gap down, depending on how they they actually performed in their last quarter, um, will depend on how I take the trade. But I am actually very bullish on Tesla. Uh, if they do get a gap down, I will probably if we get a gap down to two fourteen, I'd probably look to fade the gap. Anything lower, it'd probably be a short term bearish play. Um, but obviously, if we do gap higher, uh, bullish all the way. Let's take a look at Shopify. Now, Shopify just, I did say, I think it was back here, one of these days here, I did say that most likely we can go higher, but most likely we will chop around at this level. We did create some new highs and I did call this top here and we are chopping around at this level. So I do expect us to chop around for a little bit. Uh, we do have a little bit of de decreasing volume we really do need to kind of distribute uh, distribute here at this price. We've got earnings just around the corner. If we do get a gap down, guys, it will be a Bible event. Just keep that in mind. So Shopify looking very, very nice if you're looking to pick up a share or three. Got a request from Alex in our private Facebook group for UNH. Now, he did request this last week uh, around here. And I hope he did take this long. My analysis would have been this is a buy low, sell high location based off this particular candle um, back here. And if we just take a look at the weekly chart, we have really just come straight back almost down to the 200. We had this beautiful, beautiful buy low, sell high location right here based off this support. So we are at support, Alex. Um, and we did slowly bounce. I would have warned you about earnings coming up. Um, but as we did get a bullish gap and go uh, today, 
Uh, we did run into a little bit of resistance here at the 100 simple moving average. If you didn't get into this particular trade, probably just to buy, probably just look to buy on a retest, probably on a, on a shorter time frame, um, something like this. If we take a look at the hourly, yeah. I'd probably look to buy at 228 um, or 228 or 230 if you're looking to buy the dip. Um, otherwise, keep your eyes on the short-term moving averages for your entry. But UNH, mate, looks really, really good for a long. Um, and that's all I have to say about UNH. Let's take a look at the Aussie markets, the all odds. Now, I have said for a while that this is going to be a dip buying opportunity. I hope you all went long. I hope you didn't think the market was going to collapse and fall off a cliff. Um, so these guys, everyone that's buying here, well done. You guys are absolutely crushing it. We're slowly, slowly, but surely grinding higher. Let's take a look at the bank. CBA also mentioned last week, uh, the last couple of weeks, if you're looking to pick up a share or three, uh, CBA is a really nice time to buy back here. Um, so well done for you guys. If you did buy, uh, well done to you all. You'd be very, very happy. Um, just note that we are coming into some resistance up here. Uh, so when we do get up to these highs, probably look to sell some premium if you have um, enough shares to do so. Let's take a look at BHP, still chopping sideways. We are going to be in this range for a while. I've mentioned this a few times. Um, most likely we're going to be here for probably, I'd say three to six months. Um, but most likely we are going to chop around here sideways for a little while. If you're looking to buy low, sell high, your opportunity to buy was back here at $35. Um, so look to buy low, sell high, guys. We have got the 100 simple moving, 100 and 200 simple moving average up here as a resistance. Um, so we are going to chop around here for quite some time. Let's take a look at App and Limited, APX. Uh, this gap still has not filled. Um, however, it doesn't have to fill obviously, but we are at a very nice support level right here, as you can see. So if you did take a long position here or at least tiptoed in, you know, got some skin in the game on a on APX, well done. I have been speaking about this for quite some time and about this dip buying opportunity. Um, so Appen Limited, very nice. Probably going to chop around sideways for a little longer, guys. We are still below the 200 uh, on the daily chart. So just keep that in mind. And here's something that's exciting, guys. APT. Now, I've always been bullish on this company. Uh, we do have today, we are currently down 7.4%. We have an evening star of the ages right now We um, combined with a double top. So what I'm looking at here is if we do crush lower, look for a retest, short, with a stop somewhere up here and then take the uh, probably take the trade back down to the 100 simple, which is going to be this really nice previous resistance level. So looks really, really good for a short guys. Probably just wait for a, a break below the neckline. Um, but APT, obviously it's only going to be a short term, short position. I don't, I'm, I'm not bearish on this company at all. I look to buy the dips. If you do miss the short and you don't want to short this company, you just want to look to buy the dip. If we do come down to the 100, definitely a nice time to pick up a share or three. So um, keep your eyes peeled on APT. Let's take a look at TWE Treasury Wine Estates. Now this is pretty much at a selling point. If you are looking to uh, lock in some gains, Pretty much, we've been here before, guys. Uh, this is a most we are in a nice bullish trend. This is a nice pullback, nice little trend. However, every time we do come up to this, you know, nineteen dollar level, we, we we do tend to sell off. Um, if I take a look at the weekly chart, where would I look to buy? Uh, I'd just say the one hundred simple moving average, guys, right here. Um, just keep your eyes peeled on that. If it does pay dividends, if you are looking to, uh, if you are looking to invest or buy this stock long term just buy as low as you possibly can and let's take a look at borrow so borrow is just not doing a whole great deal looks a little bit bearish we've had a gap down recently um, in the recent months we had a gap down which is a red candle gapping down retest gap and we're really i mean long term 
probably a nice time to start getting into some shares. I'm not excited about this chart, guys. Very, very sideways, very, very choppy. Um, I actually haven't looked at their fundamentals, but uh, does not excite me at all in the least. There's nothing there screaming to me, let's go bullish. So I'd probably stay well away from Borrell at this current moment. Harvey Norman. Now, I did speak about this back here saying this is a good time to sell. I hope you all took your profits. Uh, right now, we are at a previous level of support. And take a look at this high wave super hammer candle coming straight off the 200 simple moving average on the daily chart guys uh, we did have this beautiful retest gap red candle gapping down and we had this cute little retest right here as you can see gap down retest fade lower and then here was your buying location so uh, if you did get to buy off the 200 well done if you did take the two uh, if you did take the the, the profits at the top here, then well done to you guys. Obviously, sell into strength and buy into weakness. Uh, so keep that in mind, guys. Well done to you guys who did trade Harvey Norman. Now, here is Flight, Cent uh, Flight Center, ticker symbol FLT. Um, last time I spoke about this was on this big bearish candle. Didn't actually look into what this was all about, um, but I did mention that this was a buy low, sell high location. So we did get a gap down the next day, and pretty much we've just been fading higher um, so we are at a very nice buying location. It's just going to distribu uh, distribute for quite some time here, guys. We're below the 100 and 200. Um, so don't be scared to buy low, sell high here. Um, but only for a long-term position if you like Flight Center and use their services. That's enough for the stocks. Let's take a look at some commodities. Look at gold. Now, gold is still forming this little descending triangle, something similar to what we had back here. We had a little bit of a crush lower. And as you can see, we're pretty much doing what we did back here. I'll just copy and paste that. Um, and we're getting something like that. So I do expect us to come back down to the, come back down to the 100 at some point. Um, it will be a very nice dip buying opportunity. Um, but just, I mean, for the short term, just buy as low as you can and look to play the, the long side because it is, it is quite choppy at the moment. But obviously, in the long term, gold is definitely going to be moving higher. Let's take a look at crude oil. Crude oil at 52.95 on the daily chart. Um, speaking of times to go long, this is a very nice going long opportunity. As you can see, we did get a break higher from this little cute little double bottom. Here's the retest. So if you're looking to go long, an entry with a stop below here uh, would suffice. Looks really, really nice. Looks super toasty for a long. So if you are looking at going long, I would be looking at going long on crude oil. Um, and I want to talk about GBP USD. Obviously, there's a reason for the big bullish move in the markets um, on, on today uh, with the Brexit deal being made as early as the end of the week. Um, so we did get a very big push uh, in the British pound and we have been getting crushed for so long. I do feel this has just been priced in. So um, right now, super big push on uh, GBP USD uh, for all you Forex traders out there. Uh, we did get a good push. Now a lot of people are just starting to take their profits here. So it's going to be very interesting. Keep your eyes peeled on um, the Great British Pound uh, as we come into a Brexit deal. And last but not least, the Aussie dollar. I have mentioned for a while, we are going to chop around here for quite some time. Um, I said so just to look to buy low, sell high. I did say we'd have something like this happen around here. And obviously, if we come back up to the 100, just look to take a short position on that one. Uh, if you did look at the short-term moving averages, we did have the 50-day EMA come into a resistance. So if you did look to short there, uh, then well done to you lot. Anyway, that's all i got to, for you today, guys. I'll be back on Thursday with another free real life stock review. If you want me to review any tickers, leave it in the comments section below or leave it in the Facebook group. If you're not a part of our Facebook group, I'll leave it in the description. Join the group, join real life trading and join the team. We'd love to see you and we'd love to have, have you there trading alongside us and alongside some amazing traders.
I'll speak to you guys all on Thursday. And until then, love life, live life, and trade it. I'll see you all soon. Bye.